The world's highest macabrely cool bug. 80% of the world's animal species are insects, which is to say there are likely more than 1 million species of bugs, and some experts estimate as many as 10 million. They are under the ground, on the ground, and above the ground. In the bush, in the city, in the desert, in and on the trees, and on and under rocks. In our homes, our businesses, all the places we visit, on our skin, in our hair, in our nightmares. They run, crawl, creep, climb, jump, swim, and fly. If they ever decided to take us on, we would lose, and the earth would be ruled by bugs. Thankfully, they seem content with having invaded and conquered every environment on earth, excluding extreme high-altitude environments, arctic regions, and active volcanoes. We are unlikely to have face-to-face -face encounters with many of the insects on this list, and even if we did, they do not represent any real threat to us. They can be viewed and appreciated, or not, from the safety of our living rooms. Although there is an impossible number of candidates for the title of coolest bug on earth, here are worthy contenders that, between them, offer some disturbing behaviors, outrageous appearances, wicked party tricks, and a few surprises. Brazilian tree hopper. The Brazilian tree hopper has a weird crown of balls on its head and is apparently lazy. The purpose of this regal anatomical feature is something of a mystery to scientists who have at least ruled out any sexual function given that both males and females of the species have the balls. Their best guess is that it is a defensive weapon designed to discourage predators. If not functioning as a decoy head like some other creatures have, then perhaps it's there because it is similar in appearance to the results from having a parasitic fungus invade your body. Although such headwear is unusual in the general insect population, it is very fashionable among the tree harpers. The crown of hairy balls is, in fact, a pronotum, an insect body segment located just behind the head. As for their alleged laziness, Individual specimens have been observed to sit and feed in one place for 24 hours, which I think qualifies them as gluttons as well.